Hello, I'm Atuba George. Now, we, we, we began yesterday talking about the, the, the command that God gave concerning seed time and harvest in Genesis chapter 8 and verse 22. God said, while the earth remains, seed time and harvest will never cease. It means everything that regulates the world is going to be seed time and harvest. See, the same way you have cold and heat. See, once you have cold, surely heat is coming afterwards. Once you have summer, surely winter is coming. Once you have day, night is going to come after the day. See, that's how, that's how God ordained the whole earth to function. So you can't say, I don't like this message of seed time and harvest. <laughs> You're doing yourself evil to say that. Now let me show you something in book of Psalms chapter 1. Let's get in proper into what the Lord have laid in my heart to share with you. Now, Psalm chapter 1 and verse 1, from, from verse 1 to 3. Now, look at it. It says, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor seated in the seat of the scornful. Now, look at those statements. It says, This man is blessed. Who is this man? It says, The man who does not walk in the counsel or advice of the ungodly see so when an ungodly person is giving you an advice or a counsel now an ungodly person can only give you ungodly counsel or ungodly advice now that's how it works because jesus a good man out of the good treasure of his heart brings forth good things and an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart brings forth evil things so an ungodly man, out of the ungodly treasures of his heart, he brings forth. Now, the fact that somebody is not born again doesn't mean the person is ungodly. I need you to understand that. See, that's the truth. See, he, he, he can be a godly person and yet he doesn't have Christ living in him. Now, you need to know that. See, for example, you read in scriptures, Nicodemus was a godly man. But Jesus still told him, except a man be born again, he cannot see nor enter the kingdom of heaven. Now, you need to understand that. So, when he says an ungodly person, he's talking about someone who has no, no connection with God at all. Now, such people can only give you ungodly counsel. You get that. Now, he says, blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel or advice of the ungodly nor stand in the way of sinners. See, he doesn't join sinners to, to, to do what they do or think the same way they think. You know, sometimes you find yourself in, among a group of people and they're all talking nonsense. And then you find it strange because you cannot contribute to what they are talking about. And then you're like, um, you know, I can't live there because, hey, live there immediately. You don't belong there. And state it. That I don't belong to this group. I don't belong to this bunch. If you cannot influence them, they will surely influence you. Listen, let me tell you the truth. Influence upon your life doesn't come because you willingly accepted it. No. See, like I always say, most cases or most times, when you see a, 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 a young man who came out of a home where his mom was abused by his father, see, when I say abuse, I mean the, the, the father used to beat up the mother. Most times, even though this young man may have fought his father over it, when he gets married, he will realize that the same thing, if he doesn't take full charge of it, is going to be happening in his life. Now, many times people look at it and call it generational causes. It's not generational causes. It's just that while he was in that home, he was being mentored how to treat a woman unconsciously. He never liked it, but that was the seed that was sowed right inside his heart. See, So that's why he's saying, you, look, you'll be blessed if you hang around, if you don't hang around sinners. Just stay away from them. Because the more you hang around them, the more they deposit something in you. And many times you will not see the effect of it until later. And, and you just see yourself manifesting. And you're wondering, where did this come from? Oh, you, you got it when you were hanging in that environment, in that house, in that, in that place, that group, where, where such things was taking place. Now, that's the truth. Now, let's, let's finish this. Nor sit in the seat of the scornful. See, he doesn't stay with them. 
but his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his law that he meditate day and night. Now this is what this man is going to look like. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his, his fruit in his season. His leaves also shall not wither, and whatsoever he does shall prosper. Now, you don't, you don't walk in the counsel of the ungodly. In, why, why won't you walk in the counsel of the ungodly? Because the word of God is your counselor. See? Why would you not stand in the way of sinners? Because you, you want to hang around the righteous people because your heart is full of righteousness and you want to do righteous things. Now, he says, when you are that way, everything you do will prosper. Now, from tomorrow, I'm going to start showing you the practicality of this scripture. What does it mean, seed time and harvest? And what does it mean, where well, whatsoever he does shall prosper? I'm going to get into that tomorrow. Praise God, because I've got to stop here now. Praise God. Until tomorrow, let the blessing of the Lord rest upon you. And I declare if there's any sickness in your body, even right now, I command healing on you. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Till tomorrow. God bless you. Bye-bye.